Admiral Trey Jarrell say that he'll be remembered for his positive energy and his larger-than-life smile. On Saturday evening, Trey was headed to Heron Street to see people he called his fam. Trey was like a little brother to me. He was like a full blown of life. You could never miss him in the room. But Nadia Moore says he never made it inside, which came as a surprise, especially because the street typically has police presence. On this street, it's, it's been quiet. So it's just like nobody really come out here. She says that's one reason Trey would come over. Everybody be in their own lane, in their own little center, in their own little world. And that's the one thing that was really a safe haven. That's why I felt like he'd come over here because of that. Moore says Saturday while she was waiting for Trey, she heard gunshots. Then she saw a crowd gathering outside, and when her family saw Trey laying barely responsive, she called police. They really did come in the midst of five minutes. While they waited, she said all she could do was hold on tight to him. And I was telling him, I was like, I'm not letting you go till, till somebody come. I don't even care if these folks have to pull me up off of you. I'm not, I'm not leaving you. Moore says Trey wasn't the type of person to be involved in trouble. He wasn't no bad-hearted person. He wasn't no cold-hearted person. So I know he didn't leave with no regret on his heart because he did right by people. Now she's questioning what happened before he could get inside and hopes the neighborhood shot spotter cameras will offer quick evidence. And I pray that he get justice because that right there is something that is deserved, definitely. In Macon, Megan Western, 13. W